Easy Organizer Suite, the easy to use suite of Management Plus Conversion programs. Welcome to the Easy Organizer Suite lesson series for the Easy Fabrics Organizer module. Easy Fabrics Organizer allows you to organize your fabrics. How to work with the fabric system table. This lesson shows how to add, edit, and delete fabrics. First, open Easy Organizer Suite. In Windows 8 and above, hover your mouse over the left bottom corner of your screen and click on the Start tile when it appears. Type E A S Y and the Easy Organizer Suite icon should appear. Click on it to open the Easy Organizer Suite program. If the module selector opens, click on the Easy Fabrics Organizer icon to open the Easy Fabrics Organizer module. If another module is open, select the Modules menu, then select Easy Fabrics Organizer module, or click on the Easy Fabrics Organizer icon in the toolbar. You will see the available fabrics on the left, arranged in categories, a blank fabric chart in the middle panel, and the links in the right panel. To view the fabric system table, in the Pro Edition only, select Tools, System Tables, Fabrics from the menu. The fabric system table chart will open. You can select which line you would like to view by selecting the line in the line drop-down. For this lesson, let's select Barbados. Now you will see all the fabrics for the Barbados line. To add a new fabric, click on the Add button. The Add Fabric form will open. You can enter the information about the new fabric in this form. Enter the information about the new fabric and then click on the OK button. For this lesson, we'll enter this information. Name, Dreamcatcher Earth. Website, http colon slash slash storefront.unitednotions.com slash storefrontcommerce. Line, Barbados. Color family, brown. Rating, five stars. Description. This is a new fabric that is being added with the Easy Organizer Suite lessons. Click on the Picture button to open the Add Edit Picture form. The Add Edit Picture form will open. Click on the Browse button to select an image. Find an image for your new fabric on your file system. Once you've selected an image, click on the Open button. Click on the OK button to accept the image. Click on the OK button to add the new fabric to the line. You will now see your new fabric in the Fabric System Table Chart. Click on the Save icon in the toolbar to save your changes. To edit a fabric, select the fabric you would like to edit and click on the Edit button. The Edit Fabric form will open with the information about the selected fabric. Change any of the information you'd like. Let's change the name to Dreamcatcher Planet Earth. Click on the OK button to accept your changes. You will now see the fabric with the changed information. Click on the Save icon in the toolbar to save your changes. You can delete a fabric by selecting the fabric and then clicking on the Delete button. Let's delete our new fabric. Select Dreamcatcher Planet Earth Row and click on the Delete button. The system will ask if you are sure. Click on the Yes button to delete the fabric, or click on the No button to cancel the delete. For this lesson, click on the Yes button. The fabric will no longer be visible in the Fabric System table. Click on the Save icon in the toolbar to save your changes. To filter the list of fabrics that are displayed, you can check the Show Deleted checkbox. This will show the deleted fabrics. You can now see the new fabric that we just deleted, with the Deleted checkbox checked. In any chart, including the Fabric System Table Chart, you can sort the grid by clicking on the column heading. So, if you want to sort the grid by the name column in ascending order, click on the name column heading. If you click it again, the program will sort the grid in the descending order. To resize the columns of a grid, hover the mouse over the end of the column you would like to resize until the mouse becomes a resize cursor. Then click and drag the column either to the left to make the column smaller or to the right to make the column larger. When the column is the size you want, let go of the mouse button to accept the new size of the column. When you save the changes, the program will remember the size you have made the columns. Be sure to save the Fabric System Table Chart. Select File, Save, or click on the Save icon in the toolbar. This concludes this lesson, How to Work with the Fabric System Table. 
Please view our other lessons for the Easy Fabrics Organizer module of Easy Organizer Suite. Easy Organizer Suite, the easy to use suite of Management Plus Conversion programs. Please visit us on the web at www.easyorganizersuite.com. Thank you.